Hello there. So we're going to work on trying to get a, a little more interesting of a, a world for our, our character to uh, move around in. So what we're going to do first is create uh, some objects to interact with our, our character. So we're going to create a, another sprite. We'll make it a tree. We'll make it a little more upright. So we'll go in here, create a line. make it a little bit darker, maybe a little more interesting. It's way to uh, let's make it darker. We're going to add a little bit of shadow. This doesn't have to be very fancy. more for visual effect than anything. Actually, we'll just get rid of that and make it change, th make it like partial vis partially visible. Okay, so we have a tree. That's good enough. We're going to center it. Good enough. So when you uh, we'll probably make uh, some objects that represent the tree for right now. Go back into your objects and select tree. I guess I need to assign the sprite to it. Now when you normally place a tree, it snaps to the, to the grid. One way to get rid of that snapping is to hold down the Alt button. Um, and then you can place several where you want them. So we're going to have our character walk through this like grove of trees. get a little more interesting, I guess. Um, so when we first fire that up, it'll just walk pretty much over everything. Doesn't Doesn't look very good. So one of the things uh, the things that need to be done is we're going to create something to uh, create more of a depth visual for everything. So we're going to create a, a script that uh, is going to be used by pretty much everything that's in the world. And we're going to say uh, depth equals negative 1 times y. 
So when uh, any object that's going to, uh, we're going to call this depth check, or set depth. Anytime something gets run, we need to figure out if it's further in the background or closer. So in our trees, we're going to add, we don't need to, we're going to create it when we actually create the object. I guess one way t to make it easier would be instead of creating individual code for that, one quick way is to uh, have have this secondary one executes a script for you and set depth. That way you can quickly go in and see if that's set for the character. So we're pr also going to do that for our, our main character. Make sure he's got the correct depth. But the other thing we're going to do is as the character moves, we want to make sure that depth is is correct as well. So we can either do it during the movement or at, at the end of every time. Drag it down to, to move it. So after we've created our move, we want to make sure that he's in the correct, correct depth. So let's try that out and make sure it's working fine. Yeah, so now he's behind the behind the trees where he's supposed to be. He's in the front when he needs to be. The one thing is he can still go through everything, so we'll we'll take care of that here in a second. So we're going to create another object to kind of create uh, boxes or boundaries to prevent our character from moving through. So we're going to call this a block. Um, I'm going to go back up here and create a sprite for that just so we can see it when we're creating it. Create a new sprite. Make it fairly small. We don't need it. Because one of the things we can do is always enlarge it, scale it up. So we'll make it red so it's obvious where it's going to be in the screen. Center it. So we're going to go back here to our object block. Um, and then we want, since we want to be able to use it during level creation, we're going to add on the, when the object gets created, we're going to set it to not be visible. So go back over here. So our alpha will always be zero, so it's not not visible. I'm sure, there's other ways to do that. Um, so in this case, we've got our block. So now we're going to block out using our alt again. We're going to create, oh, make sure you hold on the alt, even for the sizing, little areas that our character cannot. Move past. We could do place this down for every single tree, but we probably want to. There's like a grove of trees. We want to make it's easier and less CPU intensive to make a block for him to not be able to go through. So we'll run it, and I'll show you that even though there it's blocked out, it should generate. But he still can go through them because we actually aren't doing anything specific to tell him not to. So we need to go back to our character. Um, and in a step, 
back as we're doing our movement. We're going to add a little bit, just a little more logic. Um, we're going to change this up here. We're going to say if x plus where we're going to move, so this move rate. Um, we're going to do a, there's different ways to do collision. We could say, oh, if he collides anywhere, well, we'll just go ahead and move him there. Since we're just doing the boundary, we're going to use a, a point, not a pint. Or, let's see, we could use a place. <coughs> All right, now I gotta look at this. Okay, we're gonna do a a position meeting, which this is if the point that I'm checking, which is gonna be the new location he's at. Where he's going to be going. So if this is true, then we're not we're not going to let him let him move. So we're going to say if um, he, there is there is no position meeting to the object of the block, then we'll move him to the where he's going to be going. So we've, we've added the, the block object um, to be able to frame where we're going to let him go in the world. And then we've added just one single line to say, okay, if we're going to go there, then and if our new location is going to be a block, then he's not going to, he's not, he can move. So if it's, if there is no, no collision, Go ahead and let him go there, and if there's going to be a collision, then not don't let him go there. All right, let's see what I did wrong. I missed a parentheses. There we go. So now he's actually probably want to change exactly how that's blocked out, but he can no longer go through everything. But now we have a character who can walk, and f he can't walk through the trees, but he can rock behind, get blocks, so we're more controlling of where he's going to go. Um, next, next video we'll go ahead and go over uh, how to allow you to actually see see him when he's behind something, do more of a transparency behind. Till next time. Good luck coding.